everyone, welcome back to Milton and I's vlog. Today it is currently 6.50 a.m. and we are on our way to Orlando. So in today's video we're going to be taking you through a short weekend in our life and basically what it's like to travel with the dog. And also we are going to be using the rover service to actually board him with someone this weekend while we go to theme parks. So we're also going to be showing you that and kind of what the experience is like booking on Rover and if we think it's a good option for your dog when you're traveling with them in the future. Milton, say hi. So he's currently in his doggy hammock, which this is pretty cool. It just attaches to the seats of your back seat and allows your dog to kind of have a safe space in the back seat where he can chill and chew on his toys. And another benefit, especially since Milton has started shedding, is that this keeps dog hair and scratches off of your actual seats. He's always a little bit nervous when we first get in, but then once we're on the main road and just driving, he chills out pretty fast and he'll probably fall asleep here in a bit. snacks. This morning I got a Fro Pro coffee flavor snack bar and then we have all of Milton's food packed into this cooler. Currently he's eating raw food so it has to stay, this specific one has to stay refrigerated. And I'll show you guys a bit later what our system was for packing that when it's not as dark outside but those are, those are all in here. Alright, so we just stopped to charge our car for a bit. We have a Tesla, so it kind of works out that we have to stop and charge because it gives us a chance to feed Milton in this case and let him out. He's currently kind of going crazy because he knows that his dad has left the car. But before we feed him, I'm going to show you kind of how we did this. So, as I mentioned earlier, we have our cooler. And since he is going to a rover this weekend, instead of like bringing a bunch of food and like a measuring cup, what we did was just basically portion out all of his meals into like their appropriate baggies. So currently, since he's a puppy, he has a cup of his food for breakfast and a cup of his food for dinner. And then obviously throughout the day, he'll have treats and stuff too. So we have one bag for each meal. So we're gonna go ahead and feed him breakfast and uh, then we'll get on the road in a few minutes. So we have all of his toys and stuff in this bag. So here's his to-go food and water bowl. It's by Petique and it's actually pretty cool. I'll show you what the inside of it looks like. So basically when you unzip it, there are two pop-up bowls, one for food and one for water. And then the bowls actually snap out so that you can clean them out. And then here's Milton's leash and collar setup, and then we're gonna get him out. Hi, Bunny! You ready to get out and eat breakfast? Since we obviously don't have a way to wash his bowls, I just kind of ripped this bag open and then I'm gonna set it in here. Stay. Milton, stay. Wait. Okay. Good boy. Sorry it's not the easiest way to eat your food. We don't really have a way to wash your bowl, so this is kind of the best we can do right now. I'm just gonna pour some in here from my water bottle. There you go. Good boy. Now we're just gonna wait for Corgi Dad to get back before we 
go take him potty. The nice thing about being at the turnpike stations is they have a lot of these dog walk areas where you can let your dog out and let them run around. So this is the turnpike dog area. So now we are on the last leg of our trip to Orlando where we're gonna drop him off with his Rover watcher. So I just wanted to take this time to talk to you a little bit about Rover. This is not sponsored, this is just our personal experience using the app. We just wanna share what we know just so if anyone else is traveling with a dog and for some reason you can't be around them, you know that this is just a great resource and way to get some easy dog care wherever you're going. So the Rover app allows a few different things that you can do with your pet. You can do dog boarding in the sitter's home, house sitting in your home, drop in visits in your home, doggy daycare in the sitter's home, and then dog walking in your neighborhood. We chose dog boarding in the sitter's home. So once you select the service, you say what type of animal you have, dog or cat, the dates that you need it, and then the location, including the city and the zip code. And then from there, it'll take that information and give you a list of people who are confirmed available for that date range in that location to watch your dog. So for a lot of people, leaving their dog alone with someone they don't know is a big decision. So Rover allows you to leave reviews of sitters. So you can obviously see based on a lot of the reviews whether that person is a good sitter or a not so good sitter and it'll give a star rating as well. Another really great thing about Rover, depending on the sitter you have of course, is that they have the ability to keep you updated as they're watching your dog. So the last time we used Rover, the sitter we chose kept on sending us pictures throughout the time that he was with her, which we really liked because we were able to see that he was okay. So I'm excited to see how this weekend's sitter is. We're not going with the same one that we did last time even though she was awesome. This guy is literally the best behaved road trip puppy ever. He's just been sleeping back here the whole time. Right buddy? Only 25 minutes till you get to see your rover sitter for the weekend. Gotta give my little guy goodbye hugs cause I don't know. I'm gonna see you for a little bit buddy. Say hi. Give the camera a boop. All right, we're gonna go in, so talk to you guys in a bit. All right, so we just dropped Milton off. Sorry for the horrible lighting. We're driving through trees, so the sun's very patchy. But the lady was nice. Our only complaint so far is that she was running a few minutes late. So with Rover, you specify like a drop-off window. So we said from 9 to 10.30 if we got there like maybe at like 9.50 and she was running a bit late. But then she got there in time, so technically before 10.30, which was when we said was like the latest, we would drop him off. And she was really nice. She took his crate and all of his toys, asked us about like picking him up, and um, she said she's gonna, you know, keep us updated if we have any questions. And I was reading about her specifically, and she actually does send photos through the day, so I'll definitely uh, show some of those in this video so you guys can see what she takes. So now we're gonna head off to the theme parks and we will check back in, I guess, once we get some photos. So, bye. bye. Hey everyone, so the last time that we checked in with you all was yesterday when we dropped Milton off to his rover. Since then, we've gone to both of the theme parks. We went to Volcano Bay yesterday on Sunday, and then today we went to both Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. And now it's about four o'clock, and we're gonna head back to pick Milton up from his rover. And if anyone is curious, here are some of the rover photos that we got from our sitter between yesterday and today. And 
And so as you can see, she kept us pretty updated on what he was doing. It seemed like overall he had a really good time and we will check in with you guys in a few minutes when we get him. We're here, so time to go get him. Let's go do this. Surprise! Mel and Tom! Mel and say hi! He even got a little Easter tie. You can kind of see it. But I think he's happy to be back. Yeah. But now we're gonna go home to our house, buddy. So, here we go. Somebody got sleepy. I don't know if you guys can see his little Easter tie that his Rover Center got him, but he looks super cute in it. Oh, oh, I'm sorry I woke you up. Oh, go back to sleep. Go back to sleep, I'll leave you alone. All right, good night. We just made it to our first stop in Vieira, Florida at some of the charger stations. Let's go see if you gotta go potty. Uh, this way, buddy. Come on. Good boy, Milton. Word to the wise, if a dog could eat everything in sight, he would. I just had to pull two chicken wing bones from Milton's mouth because even when there's nothing around, he still manages to find the one thing that he's not supposed to chew on. Milton, are you being crazy? Is there something there that you like? Oh, I think you're eating bird poop. Let's not do that, come on. Milton, Milton, come here. Oh, boop. All right, buddy, we made it home, yay! Let's put you down. Definitely feels nice, right, buddy? Are you excited to be home? Hey, everyone, so it is currently 8.16 and we're finally back in our apartment. Milton is all set up with his crate and his toys again, and he was just able to eat dinner. Overall, I would say that our experience with Rover was pretty awesome, other than, as I mentioned, there were some issues with checking in on time. What I did think was super cute about this Rover was that she actually gave him a little Easter doggy tie around his neck when we got him which I think was such a nice touch and as I said she did send us tons of photos throughout the whole entire thing which made me feel comfortable knowing that he was having fun and that he was playing and being taken care of. Overall I would rate the Rover experience probably a solid 9 out of 10. It's cheaper and in my opinion more hygienic than booking your dog at a kennel. Of course all Rovers vary. So you just really have to make sure when you're picking one that they meet your dog's needs and that they're just a good person because of course there are some sketchy people out there. So that is it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe so that you never miss a new upload with Milton the Corky. Bye guys. Have a good night.